Hello, my name is John Hoodley, and I'm the Director of Product Marketing at CASA Systems. Today we'll be going through a demonstration of CASA's 5G Ready Core. And in particular, we'll highlight CASA's market leading efficiency, performance, and flexibility. When we started to develop the 5G Ready Core, we looked around at the marketplace and realized that the existing core networks were incredibly inefficient. And it occurred to us what had happened was that that software was developed on proprietary hardware appliances, and then it was ported, basically lifted and shifted, into virtualized environments. And what that led to is poor performance and inefficiencies. At CASA, we've developed a whole suite of software services that we call the Axiom Ultra Broadband Core. And this is software that is truly optimized for the virtual environment, for NFE. And the results are impressive. In terms of gigabits per second per virtual CPU is about five times what we see with competitors. And we also deliver more sessions and greater traffic on a virtual CPU basis. And CASA hasn't focused on performance just for performance sake. Our real goal is to deliver to service providers the lowest total cost of ownership. By optimizing our solutions for a virtual compute environment, we reduce the compute resources that are required, we lower the number of servers, and ultimately, this reduces OPEX and CAPEX. So let's move on to the demonstration. In this demonstration, we'll focus on CASA's implementation of CUPS, which stands for Control and User Plane Separation. As you can see in the diagram, the standard 4G core architecture does not make use of CUPS. The P and the S gateway both handle user and control planes. 4G CUPS was actually introduced in 3GPP release 14 in mid-2017. As the CUPS acronym implies, the user plane and the control plane elements of key virtual network functions are separated and they can scale independently. In a 4G CUPS network, the P gateway now becomes the P gateway C for control and the P gateway U for user plane. Looking at 5G, the 5G architecture is designed right from the start to have the control and the user plane separated. In our demo today, we'll focus on the P gateway, the P gateway C, and the P gateway U. And we'll be scaling in multiple dimensions. We'll first demo vertical control plane scaling. We'll start off with our lean configuration, five virtual CPUs, and as we add capacity, we'll increase the number of virtual CPUs. And that's what we call vertical control plane scaling. Next, we'll look at the horizontal control plane. In this particular case, as we add capacity, we'll be adding incremental VNFs. So what you're seeing right here is the Virtual Management Controller, or VMC. And what it provides is a view of all the VNFs that are running in the system. It provides VNF management along with FCAPS integration to the OSS BSS systems. And in this screenshot, you can see multiple P Gateway Cs, P Gateway Us, an external database, and a load balancer. So now we're focusing on vertical scaling. And we're taking a look at a single P Gateway C VNF with about 1,500 sessions. And it's run with five virtual CPUs. Now, one of those virtual CPUs is a connection manager handling all the traffic. So as traffic is increased, we've added an additional vCPU to the single VNF. And as incremental sessions are added, those sessions will be allocated across the two connection managers. And now we'll be looking at scaling down. So what you can see on the screen is that we're back to the original configuration. Five virtual CPUs, our lean configuration. One of those virtual CPUs is acting as a connection manager, and it now has responsibility in handling all of the sessions. So now we're showing horizontal scaling. As the traffic increased, we've gone from one VNF now to four VNFs. And these are P gateway Cs. And what you can see is that the sessions have been allocated approximately evenly across each of the VNFs. So the last thing we'll show with horizontal scaling is really scaling in. The traffic has decreased, and as a result, we've gone from four VNFs now down to one VNF. So in this part of the demo, we'll be focusing on capacity. Now we've moved on to the user plane, and what we're looking at is a single VNF a P Gateway U. Now this P Gateway U has five virtual CPUs. It's what we call our lean or minimal configuration. And what it's running is 30 gigabits per second. That's 15 gigabits per second up and 15 gigabits per second down. Now as you saw in the demonstration of vertical scaling, we can actually increase the number of virtual CPUs in a VNF. So we can increase the throughput dramatically. With this P Gateway U VNF with 17 virtual CPUs, the throughput will be 98 gigabits per second. In our demonstrations today, we saw that CASA is delivering a 5G ready core that is designed and optimized for a virtual compute environment. We use CASA's CUPS implementation to show scaling in two dimensions, both vertically and horizontally. In the final demo, 
we focused on high efficiency and high throughput. CAS is able to achieve five times greater throughput than its competitors. Overall, with our efficiency and scaling, we believe that we can provide service providers with a lower cost of ownership. So please reach out to us at casa-systems.com.